Some football fans know him as Diggsy, but the rest of us, he is Stefan Diggs. We will be diving deep into the passing of his father, his total net worth, and much more. Stefan Marshawn Diggs was born on November 29, 1993 in Gatorsburg, Maryland. Diggs adopted a huge interest in sports from a young age, not just football, but track as well, since he is an amazing sprinter. Stefan was quickly recognized for his extraordinary abilities in every game he played during his years at Our Lady of Good Counsel in Maryland. And Stefan had many responsibilities as a kid. This was mainly because after his father, Aaron Diggs, passed due to congestive heart failure, Stefan had taken over the role of the father in his house ever since. Stefan has mentored and guided his younger brothers, Derez and Trayvon Diggs, throughout their whole life. But now that Stefan is a grown man, he has other responsibilities to attend to, like his relationship and daughter. Girlfriend and Daughter The player has a long history of dating several women. In fact, he was once married to a girl named Tyler, and during their marriage, the couple welcomed a gorgeous girl named Nova in 2016. Diggs, who keeps his personal life very secret and away from the media, has barely ever talked about his daughter. After he and Tyler broke up, Winter Blanco enters Stefan's life, but that didn't last long either. As of today, the wide receiver is dating Tay Heckard, and the fans of this couple hope to see them marry each other soon. However, neither of them has yet provided any confirmation on this matter. However, can we be sure it's going to be one hell of a wedding considering all the money Stefan has to invest? Net Worth and Salary Stefan's total net worth is currently $13 million. He was initially selected by the Minnesota Vikings in the 2015 NFL Draft. Stefan signed a four-year deal that offered him $2.5 million with the Vikings. After that, in 2018, the Vikings extended his deal for five more years in a contract worth $72 million. And this was a big turning point in his career. When the deal ended, Stefan was traded to the Buffalo Bills for the 2020 season. In April 2022, he signed an extension that paid him $96 million to stay with the Bills until the 2026 season. For this contract, the NFL star received a signing bonus of $21.5 million. Stefan will earn $124 million by 2027 if he stays with the same team. As of today, his average yearly salary is about $24 million. And you might be wondering, why did they pay this guy so much money just to play football? Well, Stefan Diggs is no ordinary football player. Career The NFL star debuted in 2012 and played just seven games in 2013 due to a summer injury at Wake Forest. Even though he was an injured rookie, he was still selected by the coaches and media due to his status as an honorable mention All-ACC. And with Diggs' impressive performance against FIU to open his sophomore season, he achieved 98 receiving yards, one score, and 70 return yards on three kickoffs. Stefan won the ACC Receiver of the Week award for his game against Old Dominion, landing a career-high 179 receiving yards, a touchdown, and many other notable stats. Here are a few facts about the NFL wide receiver you've probably never even heard. Interesting facts. Number 10. Diggs marked a career record in 2020 with the Buffalo Bills with over 110 receptions. Yeah, that's crazy. And this was the second time in six seasons that he had over 100 receptions. He also hit the 1,000-yard receiving mark for the third straight season. Number 9. In 2017, Stefan Diggs was accused on social media of forcing a girl to abort his unborn child. The girl, who goes by the name Reina, blasted Stefan on social media, saying that the football star got two women pregnant at the same time. Reina stated that Diggs wasn't a fan of the idea of being the father to Reina's child and told her to abort the baby. Reina told the whole story on Twitter and even revealed the athlete's phone number in Snapchat. She encouraged her social media followers to call Diggs' attention to her support. Reina wanted Diggs to pay her the $500 she apparently spent on the abortion. And that's not all. Reina also said that she had relations with Diggs' brother, Trayvon, around the same time as Stefan. Now number 8. The issues with the girls don't stop here. Many social media personalities have been linked with Stefan over the years. While the NFL star keeps his current love status off his social media, Diggs' previous girlfriends used to be more talked about in the past. In 2018, it came to public knowledge that Diggs was in a relationship with stripper Danny the Dream. A few days later, the media linked him with singer Bridget Kelly. Now at number 7. Stefan Diggs' brother, Trayvon, was selected by the Dallas Cowboys in 2020 in the NFL Draft's second round. According to him, Stefan was like his father during their childhood. And Stefan's monitoring helped Trayvon get into the NFL as a cornerback for the Cowboys. And Diggs' other brother, Derez, plays at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Number 6. 
Stefan Diggs was a fifth round pick and faced an uphill battle to make the Viking squad. Although Diggs is a household name now, he wasn't a sure thing when the Minnesota Vikings drafted him out of the University of Maryland. When Diggs completed the Minneapolis miracle, it was nearly 10 years to the day his father died. His father's death was a motivator for Diggs to succeed in the NFL. His dad was surely smiling down on him that day versus the New Orleans Saints in the playoffs. In Minnesota, the game was broadcast on KFAN with Paul Allen and Pete Bercic serving as announcers. Allen, Vikings at their own 39. It's third down, number five. The NFL star has become well known for his sneaker choices around the holidays. In December of 2018, Dig showed off a pair of Adidas shoes with a Home Alone theme featuring Macaulay Culkin's face painted on the side. One year after that, Stefan appeared with another pair of Adidas cleats, but this time for Christmas, they were inspired by Will Ferrell's iconic Elf movie. Number 4. The NFL player isn't really a big fan of social media. He prefers to keep a low profile, and that is why a lot of fans don't know anything about his current girlfriend, Tay Heckard. The two have been together for around two years, and according to many sources, Heckard relocated to Buffalo in 2020 when the athlete was traded from the Minnesota Vikings to the Buffalo Bills. Number 3. Stefan Diggs is just 28 years old, but his girlfriend, Tay Heckard, is much older. The mother of one and former partner of NBA player Brendan Jennings is a 43-year-old. Born in Seoul, South Korea in 1978, Heckard is most famous for being on the television series The Game. While Diggs doesn't post about Heckard on his social media, she has been known to post regularly about the wide receiver. It has also led some of her social media followers to criticize the couple's relationships as Diggs doesn't claim her on Instagram. Number 2. The relationship Diggs and Heckard have is complicated as it looks like the wide receiver wants to keep his options open during NFL season. Perhaps one reason he hasn't made it official is that he likes NFL road trips. According to the media, before the 2019 season, Diggs and Heckard broke up so the player could enjoy life on the road. And number one. One of the main questions throughout the NFL's offseason was why the Vikings traded Stefan to the Buffalo Bills. And the agreement came just two years after Diggs signed a mammoth five-year $72 million deal with the Minnesota Vikings. Three strong seasons justified Diggs' trade. And the first one is that the Vikings wanted to run the ball more. And with Stefan being paid so much money to block, he became replaceable. The second reason Minnesota was glad to trade the NFL star was the number of young players available at the position in 2020, which were extremely high. And the last reason Minnesota traded the wide receiver was due to Stefan Diggs' relationship with the team. Stefan was absent at the OTAs in 2019 and later missed practice without telling anyone on the team. After these actions, Stefan got a $200,000 fine from the Vikings. Sadly, the wide receiver stated in 2020 that Minnesota's front office did not care about his career, nor were they honest with him. If you like this video, you might be interested in Tyreek Hill's lifestyle video as well. Do you think Minnesota is dumb for letting him go? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.